Hi everyone, welcome to the episode number 9. In this episode, we'll be looking at permutations too. It is just the extension of the permutation problem that we saw in the last episode, episode number 8. Okay. So what is the change in the problem statement here? So earlier we were given three different elements, right? Three different elements. And uh, hence we said that it is three factorial number of permutations in total. Now, uh, let us take similar kind of elements. Okay. So let's take a triangle over here. Let's take two circles, one triangle and two circles. And let's say if I'm arranging them, trying, trying to find out all the possible permutations, then obviously it is going to be three factorial, but out of those three factorial, it means six number of permutations, a few permutations will repeat. Okay. So let's go, let's try to find it out. One, two, three, three, three possible places, three possible places. So this is the element number one, element number two, element number three. So keeping element number one here, element number two here, element number three here. This is one of the possibility. Second possibility will be to keep the element one here, to keep the element three here, to keep the element two here. Then there will be next possibility to keep the element two here, one here, three here. Next to keep the element two here, three here, one here. Next to keep the element number three here, one here, two here. Next, to keep the element number uh, 3 here, 2 here, 1 here. These are the 6 possibilities, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the 6 possibilities. Now, element number 1 is a triangle. So, a triangle, a circle, a circle. Okay? Then a triangle, a circle, a circle. Then a circle, a triangle, a circle. Then element 2 is a circle. Circle, element 3 is a circle. Circle, triangle. Circle, triangle, circle. Circle, circle, triangle. This is same as this. These two are same. They are not different, right? Uh, this one and this one is same. Then this one and this one is same. So basically, unique, there are only three. There are only three unique, right? Which is triangle, circle, circle. Circle, circle, triangle. And circle, triangle, circle. These are only three unique. Okay, so we have to generate the unique permutations this time. We will have repeating elements and we have to generate the unique permutations only. Okay, so the prerequisite is that you have done the permutations problem, permutation one that we solved in the last episode and we will keep extending it. Okay, the same concept I will keep extending in this particular topic, in this particular lecture. All right, so we will find the permutations in a similar way that we did in the last episode, but we will keep a check there. Okay, we'll keep a check. So what I was doing is I was talk, I basically I was handling the task to keep all the remaining elements to bring all the remaining elements at the position one by one out of all the remaining elements. I was bringing those elements one by one to position right and asking the question to do the remaining task. Now while doing this, I will have to keep in mind that I should bring only the unique elements at the position. Okay, instead of all the remaining elements, I will have to bring the unique elements out of all the remaining elements. So let us say out of the remaining elements, so there are repeating elements as well. Now I am bringing elements to position. I will have to keep in mind that it, at this particular position, if a circle has already come, again a circle will not come. Okay, if a, if a triangle has already come to this position, again a triangle will not come. So now how is it avoiding us having uh, the same kind of permutations, the repeating permutations? So let us take an example. Let's say you have a triangle remaining and a circle remaining and a circle remaining. And at the first position, you want to bring a triangle. Okay, you brought a triangle here perfectly fine you will ask recursion to do the task for the remaining elements remaining elements are these okay done now the next time you are thinking to bring a, a circle here okay you want a circle here you will ask recursion to do the task for the remaining elements okay the remaining elements are a triangle and a circle all right now the next time if you bring a circle again if you bring a circle again at this position the remaining elements are still the triangle and a circle and recursion will do the same task okay so basically you are bringing the circle here two times and the permutation of this will be same right whatever recursion is doing recursion will do same for this and for this that's why you will have the repetition so all you need to do is to avoid having same elements at position right now let us go to the coding part you will understand that how you can avoid it so here uh, we are talking about this position we are bringing elements all the elements to this position now once i brought an element here to this position i need to make sure that i do not bring it again Okay, I do not bring it again at this particular position. 
So how can I achieve it? So I can keep a track of all the elements which I am putting at this position, right? I can keep a track of it. And I can see whether I have already uh, seen this element before or not, right? So you can achieve it with the help of sets very easily. If you don't know what sets are, you can go and read about unordered set from maybe YouTube or maybe somewhere else. It will take five minutes only. Then you can come back and uh, resume from here. Unordered set of int, not int, care, because we are dealing with strings. So unordered, uh, unordered set of care. Uh, let us name it as M. It is basically going to hold all the elements which we have kept on this position, right? So the ith element we have kept on this position. So let us insert this insert. Sorry, M dot insert str of i. Okay, inserted this element into map. Next time when the same element comes back again, I should ignore it. So if m dot find str of i if it is coming back again it's not equal to m dot n if it is coming back again i should continue i should continue okay that's it i'm keeping track of all the elements which are coming at this position and if they have come once i will not take them again next time i will just continue from here that's it this is the only change that you need to make and it will give you with the right answers um, let us take an example over here custom inputs custom yeah this is the custom inputs let us say a b b let us try to get the permutations for a b b we are getting um, a b b this is our output a b b b a b b okay 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 m dot find str is not equal to m dot we are getting a wrong answer. Obviously, we'll get a wrong answer because we have to insert this before swapping. We have to insert it before swapping. Otherwise, it will give us a wrong answer. Now, let me run again. Yes, so A, B, 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 A, B, 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 A. This is what we expected. This is what we expected, right? This is the right answer. But this question is not asking us to read in unique permutations. I will give you link in the description of the question which is asking you to give unique permutation. Let me show you the question, right? So this is the question. Here you have to do the permutations uh, for a vector of integer instead of a string vector of integers. The problem is absolutely same. The algorithm is absolutely same. Instead of strings, instead of strings, we are using vector of integers. That's it. And you have to generate all the possible permutations, unique permutations, right? So you have to do the exact same thing. The reason why it was giving us wrong answer because we were actually inserting the ith element after the swap but we have to do it before the swap okay otherwise the ith element will change you know the ith element which we are talking about which we need to insert will go to the position right that's why we have to insert it before swapping done so this is it uh, i hope you enjoyed the lecture i hope you understood everything make sure that you submit this problem for sure you will find the link in the description all the codes are there in the description let us meet in the next episode Bye-bye.